So this is where I'm going to begin adding color. So nearby I have some crayons. You guys can see my crayons here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use those for my plan for the colors that I will use. So for instance, let's say I'm gonna paint that water blue. So I'm gonna use a blue crayon and I'm just gonna trace over those pencil lines. Now you'll notice when I introduce this element of design color in there, you kind of stop looking at the pencil lines and you really focus more on the blue ones. So I need to make sure I use color in all the different places I want people to look so that they will not just look at the bottom part of my image, my painting here. So, hmm. Well, my moose, I think he's going to be brown, so I'm going to choose a brown crayon, and I'm going to trace over the shape of him. So even though I'm using color, I'm not coloring. And you'll notice I didn't trace this line. He's supposed to be overlapping that part of the water, so I can't really see that if he's popping up out of the water. And then I'll outline his eyes. And, hmm, I want to use black for the detail on his eyes. I'm not sure if this is black, so I'm going to do a little test on the back here. Yep, could have been dark blue or purple. When I mark it on the back of the paper, I see it's actually black. All right, then I'm going to do his antlers. And for that, I'm going to use maybe a lighter color than the brown. And you'll notice I'm tracing right over top of those trees. And I think for the ground, I'm going to use a different type of brown in there. A little bit lighter than the one I traced him with. I kind of like the idea of using that for the tree trunk here and the branches. And then I'm going to go ahead and trace over the shapes of my trees with some green. Here I'm not going to trace because that one is overlapped by his antlers. I can see this one just sticking out from behind it. And then I can see most of the leaves on this one. All right, now that you've traced it and shown us your color plan, you're actually going to apply some color using markers. You want to use water-based markers for this. So here, I have Crayola markers. They don't have to say Crayola, but they have to be water-based washable markers. So you don't want to use Sharpies. You don't want to use magic markers or anything that says permanent. 